Hello everyone! Welcome to King's Quest 3! To air is to human. So, uh, I'm still in the midst of trying to train the Pokémon, so I figured I'd play a bit of King's Quest 3. This is actually my favorite King's Quest game. Oh yeah, bye kitty. She just walked right by in the mic. Uh, so, I'm hoping to actually enjoy this for a bit. Uh, let's view the opening. If we can. Thrice now I curse, and from the first, your family shall feel the worse. Soon shall you see, they'll surely be in the most dire jeopardy. Then as your foe, tis I who'll sow the spell to cause your heart to slow. And for my shame, for you the same, O heir Daventry, your heirs shall reign. Very poetic. And, like, you really need to read the whole Dire Jeopardy bit. It's the mirror! That's the, uh, the mirror from the first one. So this is actually a remake made by AGD Interactive. Uh, it's made to act like the f actual King's Quest Three was a text-based adventure. Not really text-based, but you actually, in order to go somewhere, you had to type in... You could still click, I believe, to move everywhere, but in order to pick up something, you had to be like, pick up rock, and you had to actually type it in, and it was real tedious, but it was really fun for its time. Uh, but this one, they remade it to act like the King's Quest games we know today, like point and click. You click something, you pick it up. You have the different options and whatnot. Okay, we're back. I just had to do a quick cut. You may have missed some pivotal plot moments that you just saw. Uh, there's this dude walking around in the cloak. He, uh, he just took a baby. So basically, what's going on here is this dude who's walking around. The, this is a bit of the story that you should know beforehand, but this dude He's been kidnapping babies for a long time, and he's been using those children as his own personal slave. And then once the slave reaches, I think, 18, he kills them off, or before their 18th birthday, he kills them off, and then goes to get a new one. So he keeps a child every 18, for 18 years, and then he's off to go fetch a new one. And I know there's a reason for it, but I can't remember why. There was a reason why he went to cap. Went, he went to go kidnap kids, or went. There's a reason why he killed the kids, by, from their 18th birthday, or before their 18th birthday. So we're what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing. You know what? I'm just can I skip this now? I know I clicked to see it, but I want to skip it now. Oh yes, there. That's even better. So this is his current child that he had kidnapped. Gwydion. 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 Or Gwydion. That's us! We're play as Gwydion. I was like, come on, keep it moving. Can I go now? This game is so much fun. There's a lot of things you gotta... You gotta really think. There's a lot of things you need to do before a day's day ends, and... It's really quite fun. I'll explain why more about it once we get into it, but it's just, it's not just your average point and click. You don't just go from one area to the next, pick up items and then use them so well. Yeah, you do, but you also have to consider other things. I woke up. Who's calling me? Oh, God, who are you? Zoom in on that beautiful face. She's waving. She's waving at you. Now she's gone. 
blocked by a cobweb. I'm gonna need to burn that. And there's the old geezer now. Gwydion, what are you doing, boy? This dude we hate. We hate him. I was just looking. How dare you take leave of your duties? Resume your chores immediately. Yes, Mananin. Master. Had your parents survived your wretched infancy, the sight of your sloth alone would have killed them. How rude! They would not have been proud of me. No, but fate has favored you. Few orphaned youths can know such fortune. Bullshit. You are lucky to be here to serve me. Double bullshit. I am very lucky. Indeed. Now get to work. It's like my nan is doing some Jedi shit here. You are very lucky to be serving under me. I am very lucky to be serving under you. Do, 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 do. So we walk right in. And now we begin Such the game. Is the story of young Gwydion's life to this point. What's a poor boy to do? Oh well, in resignation, Gwydion obediently follows Mananan into the house. Let's do this. So now we begin. Now I just gotta wait. It's that freaking cat. Oh, hi! You scare me! The old wizard oh, looks at you. Don't mentally. do that to me! My chamber pot is full. Empty it immediately. Ugh. Oh, you're gonna learn to hate his chamber pot. Okay. You actually have to do what he says, or he's gonna, like, cast a spell on you. Like, I think he turns you into a snail, so there's no repercussions here if I didn't do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This chamber pot's gross. Where's this chamber pot? It's right there, I think. Ugh. I think that's like his toilet, basically. We're gonna dump it out the window. Wrinkling your nose in disgust, you throw the smelly contents of the chamber pot out the open window. What a way to make a living. Tell me about it. Good thing we live in the middle of fucking nowhere. Can you imagine dropping that on someone? It's like, sorry. Okay, we did our job. Now I just need to wait for him to praise me. Praise me. Come and praise me, damn it. Where are you? You goddamn old man. Praise me. Oh, is he going to pop up? No. But there's something valuable here. Yeah, you got him, kitty. Good job. I'm gonna take that. You pick up the dead fly and drop it into your hand. Disgustedly, you look at it. I know the fly's important, but I can't remember what it, it's important is right now. Do, 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 do. So right now we got a fly. So it's in our inventory. So basically, as you can see, it's the same as the king's... Excuse me, the games, King's Quest games we know today, like walk, look, touch, I guess talk or taste. I think that's talk. And then whatever's equipped to your inventory. And then your inventory. Let's look at the fly. You're not certain why you're carrying around something as disgusting as a dead fly. Because I'm not allowed anything else, damn it. It's my only friend, even though he's dead. I'll call him Bruce. He's Bruce the Fly. Come on, Bruce, you're coming with me. Now oh, it's the cat. Where are you going, cat? This is Mananan's detestable pet. Yeah, but what's the detestable pet's name? Where is Mananan anyway? I can't do anything until he appears and says nothing. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, hi. You didn't scare me this time. The wizard gives you an evil glare. Is that all? Is that all? Huh? What you gonna do about it? I'm taking this. Do do do. The perfect servant, aren't you? Oh, totally. The only reason I took that is because I know I'm gonna need it. This is just a simple metal cup with a handle. Or is it? It. Touch. The moose head is securely fastened to the wall. You cannot remove it. But I want to. 
It hasn't much to say, if, in fact, it ever did. Oh, fine. I'm going to talk to Bruce then. Bruce, where are you? Bruce, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you. Oh, I can't talk to Bruce. Okay. Picking off its wings, you throw the rest away. Oh, no. What have I done? Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. Um, I got to I gotta, I gotta have a moose. I got to have a moose now. I have to have a moose now. The moose, get it? There's a moose up there. <laughs> oh no, I did it bad. I'll explain why I did it bad later. I did it bad. I did it really bad. I shouldn't have done that. I, I just plucked off Bruce's wings. Bruce is pissed off at me right now. Oh, Bruce is gonna let me have it. I gotta go. I really gotta go. Oh, my nanan's still here. Okay, bed. Bed me. Uh. Hide. This. You drop to your hands and knees and hide the item under your bed. Okay, done. Oh, phew. Okay, so I gotta wait for Mananan to appear again anyway, so... Basically... Oh, hi, Mananan. The wizard's glare makes you suddenly feel very, very small. I have decided to take a journey. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. So long. Okay, so... Basically, any item that is colored in blue, that blue tint that those wings were in? Can I take anything here? Your breath smells fine. Oh, mint. So far, you're allergy-free. What else is here? Can I take his glasses? excellent eye. Okay, fine. Perhaps in a few years, when you've worn out that soft down, presently posing as stubble, Oof. you take the wizard's hand mirror. There we go. That's what I wanted. So, yeah, see this mirror has a blue tint around it? It means that if... Right about your journey after you've gotten where you're going. Got it. Um, it means that I'm not allowed to have that, basically. If he catches me that in my inventory, if he catches me that with that in my inventory, he is going to murder me. They're of no use. Got it. You don't have a problem with heights. Not one you'd admit to. Yeah, sure. You've only been fed slop in your life. Bit late to be starting on crunchy food. What is this? Oh, gross. Mananan must have thrown away his wand repair kit. It's no good to you. Is there something in here I need? You've never wanted to smell like a rose, but... <laughs> but I'm taking it anyway. Okay, cool. That's another item I gotta hide. There of... There... There of... Okay, I'm done here then. I gotta close this up. That's another thing. If I don't close up... You refilled it this morning. Good. If I don't close up anything in here, he's gonna know I've been in his room, and then he's going to... Uh, you search the linen gown. You don't find anything interesting. You search behind the clothes hanging in the wizard's closet. You're startled to discover an ancient parchment scroll. Its ink has faded, but it seems to be a map. Taking this treasure, you leave everything else exactly as it was. Yoink! So if he sees me with the map, I'm dead too. Okay, there's gotta be, I know there's a key in here somewhere. You search the linen... You search the linen... You search... You search... You search the lip. Oh, come on. You search. You search. You search. You search the pockets Aha! of the black cloak. Suddenly you discover a small brass key. What could it unlock? Whatever it is, it's mine. Okay. I gotta close this up. So the another thing is right now Mananan is out on a journey. He will do certain tasks that will keep him from watching you so he's out on a journey right now so he's not watching you so I could be doing whatever the hell I want and he won't know as long as I'm back here before he gets back the timer at the top is green which means he's quite a distance away right now once it turns yellow that means he's coming back and once it turns red that means he could pop in at any moment and I'm screwed if I have anything that has a blue tint around it so basically everything in my inventory but this cup if he sees me with he's gonna be like yeah you can't have this but I'm just gonna take everything you take the mutton chop and carry it with you you can't no I don't want to use it here I'm taking it you take the loaf of bread and carry it with you so that's why I really like this game is because you gotta make sure you take the fruit yeah you gotta make sure he... there's no hole in this bucket why bother with it Oh, no. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, well, I'm doing it anyway. <sighs> I 
I forgot, that was a chore. And time is still going while I'm doing this, so if Menander pops in right now while I'm doing a chore, he'd kill me. I'm taking this bowl. You retrieve the clay bowl from the kitchen shelf and take it with you. Yoink! And this bowl is not a bad thing, so I can keep... Many chores. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay. I'm just trying to loot this entire house before I have to go anywhere else. Because now that Mananin's gone, I can freely walk out of the house and go anywhere. But practically the reason for everything is if any of Mananin's, uh, I guess, slaves, if you want to call them, or servants... I know there's something in here. You open the desk's only drawer, but you see nothing interesting. I thought there was something in there. Okay. Paper! Again, you search the contents of the drawer, but find nothing interesting. But there's paper right there. Again, one more time. Persistent, aren't you? Yep. There's gotta be something in here. Upon closer examination of the contents of the desk, you find a letter. There we go. You remove it and take it with you. Ha ha ha! Let's read it. Whoa, my god, my eyes. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna read this. My dear Mananin, it saddens me to learn that no word of your sister, Hagatha, has reached you of late. We can, but hope she is well and able somewhere. I think Hagatha was the witch in the second one. To do as she pleases, to whomever she pleases. My own sister is well, and thank you for asking. She was taken with you once before you grew that excessive beard, and insist that you were a handsome man in your day. I can only imagine. Oh, who knows? He could have been. Is your servant performing as adequately as your as the last? You certainly picked them, don't you? Rumor has it that the father, that's also a name that pops up again several times in these games, or at least these remakes, I believe. I don't know if it happens in the older ones. Had a particular say in who this latest slave would be. Such a rare honor, I'm really quite envious. Then again, you name them all Gwydion, so what does it matter where they come from? The way they meet their end all on their 18th birthdays, you are such a poetic dear. As for my own darling boy, he is performing his role as loyal son superbly. One might think he's doing so his whole life. There seems to be more written on the other side of the letter. Oh, let's see. In matters of the faith, my response is, as it always been, we must continue to do what we can to usurp control from the unfaithful so that the world may be prepared for the great day. For my part, I have made plans to rid this realm of my enemy. Being so predictable and obviously obliviously innocent, she will make easy prey. The time comes soon, Brother Mananin, and our long wait will be over. May swift destruction come to all those who oppose us. In the Father we trust, L. P.S. You really shouldn't keep cats around the house. Steeds make much better pets. <laughs> uh, okay, luckily they didn't take up most of my time. I'm keeping that note. Or can I put the note back? I don't really need it anymore. You can't use... Okay, maybe not. What is this? The massive desk is made from oak. The wizard does all his reading, writing, and arithmetic here. Okay. So, there's one main thing about that key that I picked up. Where's the key? I need the key. Ah, uh, this key. It opens this. You unlock the oak cabinet using the brass key. And in the cabinet... <gasps> Is a magic Inside, wand. You find the wizard's magic wand. You take it with you, knowing it could mean death if he finds it missing. Yep, taking it. Taking it. So basically, this is what another thing I have to do. If if I frickin' don't put that wand back, I am dead. He will kill me. He will know I took for some reason he's just like you took it. And I can't be like, it was the cat! It was Bruce. Bruce the fly took it. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I pulled his wings off. So basically, the reason he'll kill me for the wings, if people are asking, is because if I even look like I'm going to be trying to perform spells, I mean, I live with a frickin' wizard. I'm the servant of a frickin' wizard who leaves me for hours on end. So his punishment is if I even seem like I'm going to be performing magic, he'll kill me. 
Alright, my goal is today is to get to the village before time runs out. And there's a reason for that. Hello, birdie. An eagle sits in its nest, tilting its head as it eyes you warily. Mananan's mountain dominates the sky. Oh, cool. Actually, I better save before I screw this up. Oh, my bad. Uh, save. Oh, man. Well, as I said, I've played this once before. <laughs> uh, wow, there's a lot I did. But the first one, I named my first one Black Man? <laughs> I don't know why. I can't remember why I called it Black Man. No, I don't know. Okay. Can I just delete them all? Delete? Uh, sure. I'm gonna delete them all. I mean, time stopped. Give me a minute while I delete them all. There, <laughs> yeah, all saved up. For some reason I have the first one of them as Fly Like an Eagle. I, I have no idea. Um, this one I'm gonna save it as... Let's see. What did I do? Uh... Got... In... Whoop. Trouble. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Even though I could have called said picked up a bunch of shit, but I gotta get to. I must get to town. Gotta get to town. Gotta get to town. Gotta get to town. I'm on my way to Viridian City. Oh wait, that's not the name of the town. I'm not even sure where I'm going. I don't even know. I can't even remember what the name of the town is. I got a lot of shit in my pockets that I'm not even allowed to have. Oh my god. Oh, Birdie! Hi, Birdie! Hi, Birdie. Okay, this is a start. You know what? I'm gonna take these. You take a handful of fertile soil from the garden. Yep. I know I need it, but I know that I gotta hide it because if I take the fertile soil, <laughs> the nan and be man be angry. Oh, there's the town. Let's go that way. That's my goal for today, is to reach the town. Do 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 do. Yay! I made it. Ooh. Now, the reason that was important is because of this. My map. You pull out your magic map. Magic map! Okay, so, I can warp to Mananan's house, I can warp to that house I passed, and I can warp to town, which is good. Because this will basically take me everywhere. Anytime I open up an, or visit another area, I can warp to it in an instant, which will take me there. So, let's get out of the map right now. I still got plenty of time. It's good that I can actually warp to Mananan's house instantly. You're not keen to add your hand to the menu. What are you talking about? It's it's just a it's just a seagull. The seagull feasts on its latest lunch. Catch of the day's reject. Oh, can I take the fish? Oh, I think I can. Am I taking the fish? Yoink! Got me a fish. I don't know why, but it got me a fish. Okay. So I couldn't touch the seagull, but I was able to touch the fish. Okay, let's go in here. Hello. Good day to you, young man. What can I do for you? Um. Greetings. What have you for sale? I have many an item that might interest you. For instance, you might wish to purchase a leather pouch. Very suitable for carrying things in, as you might expect. Indeed. Anything else? I have numerous consumables that you may wish to acquire. Take a look at the shelf behind me. See if there's anything you would like. I don't really need a pouch. You know, these, these, these pants, they have lots of pockets. I mean, look at this pocket space. Look at this pocket space. I don't even know where I'm putting all this shit. Uh, what is this? The counter is for no. the counter is for conducting transaction. A content hairy dog sits on the floor of the store. Its name tag reads Hank. Hey, 
Hey, Hank. Hey, that's what I need. I need you a Hank. Pat the hairy dog and are rewarded with a handful of malted hair. Yeah, I got dog's hair. I know I need it, but can I pet him again? As you pet him, Hank licks your hand and thumps his tail in appreciation. Good job. Let me give you a big kiss. You speak to the dog in or a talk to you, I guess. And his ears perk up. Go ahead and pet him. Hank loves attention. Oh god! I've got some dusting to do. Let me know if you need anything. Don't scare me like that, dog. You're hideous looking. No, actually, actually you're pretty adorable. Um uh, I don't think what is that? What what is that? The shelves are stocked with many useful items, such as leather pouches, salt, fish oil, and lard. Well, I don't have any money, so I don't think I can do anything else. I'm out. Bye bye. Just stole your dog's hair. Um, let's go in here. I guess I still have time before my nanan shows up. It's still green. Pull it be for you, sir. A good pull of ale. Or oh, you're rather a drama rum. My, ain't you the handsome one? My, doesn't your voice sound familiar? Where have I heard that before? Huh. What is this? Wench! Come over here, more ale! And she just obliges? Uh, well, if they're paying, I guess she would oblige. Okay, uh, what is this? The town tavern is a haven for visitors, reputable and otherwise, to engage in behavior suitable and otherwise. Tell me about it. This instrument looks out of place here. That means it can be useful. Mine. Give it to me! Can I help you there? Just wondering where this instrument came from. Young man used to come in here a long time ago. About your age, according to me daddy. Had that thing he liked to play. Seemed to make him happy. Can I play it? The barmaid looks like she can handle anything from rowdy patrons to sneaky thieves. Better not press your luck. Yeah, but she probably looks good doing it too. Let's talk to her. Hey, baby. The loot made this young man happy? Nah, he ain't done it for the money. Just like to play is all. You know, entertain the customers. Who was he? Don't rightly remember. I was only a wee mite then. I think he lived with the wizard. Though I might be mistaken. Bum bum ba. I know, I know what happened to him. Can I speak to you more? Why does the loot now hang on the wall? One day the young man stopped coming over. Daddy found the instrument lying just outside. Said it was real weird how the air around it smelled all smoky. Though there weren't no fire about. Dun 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 anyway, dun 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 dun. Put it on the wall. Case the man should come back for it. Do you think he will? Hard to say. No one's seen him in years. Because he's dead. May I borrow the loot? You one of them musy types? Um, yes, I am. A lot of man who explores his creative side. Indeed, I'd very much like to practice with it. Of course, you can have it. Thank you. If you agree to play for the establishment. Ah, uh, what? You want me to play for you? You're catching on good. I don't think that I'm ready to perform publicly. Oh, come on. We ain't had a good performance around here for years. I couldn't. Really? Well, the loot will be there if you change your mind. Can I take it now? Does that mean I can take it? Can I play at home? I'll give it a try. Wonderful. <laughs> it's beautiful! I'm a bit rusty. Never. You sure are. Can I have the loot now? Wouldn't feel right giving it to someone who's not musy enough. Sorry. Blah. Look at your head, it's huge. <sighs> okay. Can I talk to these dudes? I don't think they do anything important. Two surly men sit drinking ale. They see you looking at them and glare back. I, that, I don't appreciate that kind of attitude. Beat it, kid. Shut up. Beat it, kid. Shut up. That would only draw unnecessary attention. I was telling him to shut up. Okay. I think I've been drawing this episode on too long. I'm going to head back. Actually, what's over here? <laughs> I've drawn this episode on too long. Let's explore more. Is there anything over here? 
thought there was something over here. Whatever. <laughs> Screw that. I'm using my map. Manannan's almost here. You pull out. It should be getting close. You feel a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> wow, he didn't put me that close. I was just a few steps away, actually. Uh, oh well, I'm here. Oh my god, you put me this far? I mean, yeah, sure, it's closer than what I would be. Oh god. Yeah, it's turning yellow. Time to head back. Warning. I knew it. We're getting in. Hey, chickens. Open the goddamn door. Good. Cat's not around. Not that, not that the cat can do anything. Oddly enough, that cat is like, it glares at me and it doesn't trust me. But it has no way of telling Manana that I've been up to something bad. Obviously, you can't check my pockets. Okay. Now, the only reason I can actually hide things in, under my bed in my room is because Manana doesn't go here. Uh, hide. We're gonna hide. The mirror. Oh shit. Done. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, this is not good. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of time, but I gotta get to a study, and like, now. I gotta put that wand back. If I don't put that wand back, oh. Where's the wand? Where's the wand? Where's the wand? Where's the wand? Take the wand, take the wand, take the wand, put it in. You carefully replace the magic wand exactly as you found it. Good, good. Close the goddamn door. The cabinet door locks as you shut it. Good. Now let's get back to my room before he shows up. If he shows up with these things in my hand, my inventory is gonna kill me. Up, 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 up. I'd rather not become a scorching pile of whatever Bruce was. <laughs> He's just a fly with no wings now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm safe. He doesn't come to my room. Alright, hide. We're gonna hide this. We're gonna hide this. We're gonna hide this. We're gonna hide this, 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 and this. Everything else, he can't... Everything else he can't growl me for. Because it... I got it here. Right? I got the cup here, the bowl here, and the food. Yes. Okay. He's coming back. Let's see how we did. Do, do. Do, 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 do. <whistles> totally not suspicious at all. I don't totally didn't take your wand. Do, 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 do. Totally not suspicious at all. Hopefully you're hungry. Maybe you're gonna take a nap. Tell me something to do. Come on. Don't do this to me. I seriously had plenty of time. Oh my god, you're going to pop out and scare me, and I don't like it. I hate it when you pop out of nowhere. This episode's gone like 30 minutes long. Come on. Where are you? Oh, oh, you're not going to show? You're scared of me? Is that it? Is that it? Fine, be that way. Jeez. Oh god! Oh. You see an evil sneer come across the oh. wizard's face. I am hungry. Prepare me a meal at once. Oh, don't do that to me, man. Jesus. Okay. Good. That means we did good. He's telling me, he's giving me orders. He's not killing me. <laughs> he could have just been like, I'm hungry, I'm going to eat you now. Okay, luckily, I have a meal. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. Dire consequences? Nah, he's just gonna turn me into a snail. Um... Here, you know what? No. You just have this. Apples and grapes. That's all you're getting, bitch. Take it. Eat it all. Wow, it took you a while to eat those grapes. Uh... Master? 
What is it? Speak quickly, boy. What are the people of Ludor like? The wizard gives you a cautionary glance. Why? Intending to make their acquaintance, are you? No. I'm just curious. I already made their acquaintance. From what you have said in the past, they don't sound very... appreciative of you. Selfish, pathetic creatures requiring mm -hmm, mm -hmm. constant vigilance. Which is why you have they the have telescope up top. For an old man, it tires me keeping track of their movements, never knowing when one might put a foot out of line. You have the strangest notion that Mananin's last comment was not an expression. Bum, bum, bum. They sound wretched. Much like yourself. But they are punished for their disobedience as surely as you are. Okay, that's nice. Mananan does not appear in much of a talkative mood at the moment. Conversing with him further might be unwise. Alright, I'll just stand here. Like a good little boy. You know what, I'm gonna talk to the moose here. So, moose. What are you doing? The moose head is secure. I didn't want to remove it. You scrutinize the moose head carefully. While it is long past its grazing days, you feel sorry for the poor old thing. How many points is this thing? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Wait, do you... I'm not a hunter. Do you actually determine the, the greatness of the moose by its points, like a deer? I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, if, if that's true, then 10 points, that's not bad. It's actually not bad. You did a good job. If you actually did kill that moose. I'm guessing it sort of died when it saw you. Are you done? I think I can actually just leave. Although I have to stay in the building. Oh, okay. Dude! It's obvious the wizard enjoyed his meal as he lets out a satisfied belch. He rises and leaves without so much as a thank you. F fuck the thank you! Have you ever heard of walking?! Jesus, why do you even have doors? I suppose they're for me, but... Ugh. Okay, I'm going to my room. So, that's going to end things here. I'm far surpassed any episode I've ever done. This is probably... Well, no, it's not the longest I've ever done. Getting close to it, though. Um, This is just a bonus video right now. Maybe I'll come back to it in the future, because this is a great and fun game. You should definitely try it out for yourself. I believe you could find it. All you need to do, I think, is just type in Google... Or, type in Google. Type in Google. Type King's Quest in Google. And you should find it. I'm pretty sure... It's there. Easy. Maybe they... Maybe you might find the original, which I don't... I don't, uh... I really don't... I can't think of the word right now. It's ti it's tiring, and I gotta save. Okay, I need a new thing. Hmm. Told off whoop. Told off wizard. Yeah. Not that I did, but I did. Anyway. That's gonna end things here. Maybe next time I'll be able to get more Pokemon. Or maybe I'll be able to get my episode of Gamers in Need that I've been working on for, like, all weekend. So, who knows? Be excited. Be very excited. Anybody want bread? I got me some bread. You don't, don't feel know. like sitting down and taking a bite. Maybe later. What are you talking about? I probably haven't eaten for like weeks. This is bullshit. It's bullshit bread. Is that a starfish on my bed? It looks like a starfish on my bed.